is up for Crabfield. Crosby! Shabam is in the back! Awesome book. I gotta recommend it for you. It's um, it's essentially the three reasons why the world is what it is today. Uh, thanks to my friend Sharja for recommending the book and the documentary that's available online. Link, of course, down below for both. Um, Jared Diamond uh, breaks down uh, society as we know it today. Um, and the reasons they are they are, they are because, the way they are because of guns, germs, and steel. And so he titled this book in just that. And so he's a UCLA professor uh, and does a great job of uh, essentially reducing things down to these three things. And he makes a good case. Now, I am skeptical that it is only these three things, but he makes a good case for it in these 500 and... 30 pages, 450 pages. He makes a good case for it, and you learn a bit of history along the way. In fact, some of you may have used this book in your history class, like Louie, I know you did. And I just think that's awesome because it's actually a, an informative book. So, for example, on page uh, 37 here in the text, we have this awesome graph. It's Figure 1.1 in the spread of the humans around the world. So you can see it starts in Africa 7 million years ago, 7 million years BC, and it expands out from there all the way down to uh, the Americas and uh, just all over the world. And I think that graph is, is, is absolutely an incredible part of the human evolution and history of us. I had another uh, expert for you on page uh, two, on page 380. So on 380, he talks about this uh, movie um, about the Khorasan people who uh, live in the in the bush desert in Africa. Crossing. Oh, the toilet man! The toilet man has arrived. Okay, 380. Here we go. Okay, so here you can see a map of Africa and you see the different uh, regions uh, that people have lived in it, or the language families actually. Let's see. It's actually been a while. I started this book when I was on my, uh, my trip last, about a year ago now. But okay, so the Kulasan make up a group of the least familiars, make up the group least familiar to Americas, who are unlikely even to have heard of their name. But that's why I want to tell you about him because not only does Dave Matthews sing a song about him, link down below, but uh, they're also featured in this movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy, and uh, and they're super interesting with their uh, with their dialect and their their uh, click clack tongue language. So that's the book, awesome book. If you got a, if you want a big history lesson in a small amount of pages, uh, this is the one. Uh, Diamond does it. He's a great author. And uh, it's worth your time. I love to read it. In fact, plan to reread it. Last of thanks for checking it out.